Gentlemen, you are dealing with a true X Factor. The following contest is a six man battle royal and is for the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pac. The workhorse of the NWO and Degeneration X, X Pac is continually fueled by defiance. And he's here to kick tradition in the, well, you know where. No, I don't, Byron. Why don't you tell me? Uh, 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 someone cut my mic. Say it, Byron. He's here to save the day! And his opponents, first, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! The Hurricane's a proven competitor in both the singles and tag team divisions. Well, the Hurricane has also proven that he doesn't need a sidekick. He's perfectly capable of flying solo. And just like a real Hurricane, this guy's a total blowhard. Oh, okay, I get it now, Corey. You know what? You're jealous. You're, you wish you had a cool superhero suit, just like the Hurricane. Corey has plenty of cloud suits already. I'll take that as a compliment. Here comes the first mixed martial artist in WWE history, Ken Shamrock. And from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock! Even when Ken Shamrock walks to the ring, he's picturing how he's gonna dismantle his opponent. When Shamrock loses his cool, people start losing their limbs. Squared off against Ken Shamrock is a frightening scenario. Shamrock's an amazing combat athlete, if he can stay under control. Latino Heat! And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! So many historic memories of Latino Heat. I know our colleague JBL speaks so highly of the respect he holds for Eddie Guerrero, one of the all-time greats. Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can you not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? The whole effing show. And... From Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! He is, quite simply, the whole effing show. No one in this business gets as high as RVD with the five-star frog splash. Which reminds me, guys, it's 418. I'll be back in a few minutes. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? 
There will only be one. Rob Van Dam. The greatest king in wrestling history. And from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Can you believe that Jerry Lawler has been competing in the ring for over 50 years? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. The King has been a master in the ring and at the commentary table. And even after all those years, King still has tricks up his sleeve and under his crown. Maybe you can borrow his crown to cover that bald spot. What are you talking about, Corey? 50 years in the ring and the King still has better hair than you. That's debatable. Dozens of championships won in Memphis before he joined WWE. He is certainly one of the all-time greats. Hey, King. The flying fist drop. It was actually an honor of mine, Corey, to be able to have uh, been hit in the mouth by the flying fist drop at one point in my career. Well, the King looks ready to deliver a royal beating. Maybe to you again, Michael. Or maybe to Cole, but King won't let you near his crown, Saxton. Oh man. This battle royal is underway. Superstars will be eliminated until only one winner remains. There's nothing like a battle royal. You have to be smart, resilient, and most importantly, opportunistic. From behind. You have to find your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Just caught flush. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. German suplex. Nine. He switches it back around. Slam with a purpose. Strikes with a kick. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Inside the ring. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Oh, by a Larry right to the face. And Eddie's the one being exploited. Some truly one of a kind offense from RVD. Decision here. Gar scraping over the eyes. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Eliminated. Time to go to the back. Oh, 
this could be the end here. The head scissor takedown. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. What a counter. Get back here. Leg Larry. The hurricane is incredible. The inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Time's up for Hurricane as he's eliminated. here. championship win here he rose to the occasion and is adding champion to his resume